everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we had a bit of news yesterday about my son's operation. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I wasn't planning to come back. So the plan was for him to have his surgery in the next week or two, uh, but intensive care is overrun with winter bugs and COVID and things. So for the time being, it has been put off a couple of months. So I am already back. I just thought while I'm free, I might as well just keep going with the odd video. And then if I need to disappear, then I need to disappear, but we will play it by ear. So I ended up just quickly popping to home bargains. I've just got a couple of bag fulls. This wasn't a plan at all. Just went to pick something up from Matalan and next door is home bargains. And I thought, oh, I'll just go and have a little look and see what they've got. But yeah, uh, this is what I've got. I'm not gonna do this in any particular order. I'm just gonna grab it out of the bag. Um, um, I was going to lay it all out like a shopping haul, but I thought I would just sit and grab and do it this way. So, the first thing I actually got, a bit random, is a bit of a random selection. I kind of, yeah, I got all sorts in this shop. But for weeks and weeks on my Tesco order, I've been adding a trolley coin, you know, just like the one pound coin shape. So many times I turn up without a pound in my purse. And it didn't used to be a problem because when I used to shop at like Sainsbury's and places, they, they don't ask for a trolley coin. Because I've started going to Lidl and things more, it is a problem. I actually picked up three in the end. They were only 39 pence. And yeah, just picked up two with the little trolley and then a heart one as well. But for 39 pence, I just thought, well, I've seen them, I'm going to get them. Obviously one for me, one for my husband, and then a spare one for if it breaks. But yeah, I would have walked past them if it wasn't for the fact that someone asked me in the shop where something was. And because I stopped and spoke to him, I noticed them. So he did me a favour, actually, because, yeah, I've been struggling to get those. They've been cancelled on the order every single week. And then I got two of the bin sticky numbers because we don't have them on our glass bottle box. I don't know if if you have stuff like this where you live, but we have like a green bin, a black bin, a glass bottle bin, a food bin, loads of bins. Um, and we found our glass bottle box down the end of the road the other day. We left it there for ages just in case it wasn't ours. And then when it was still there days later, we realized actually that is ours. So we're, uh, we're gonna number it up. I got these for our cinema night at the weekend, giant Skittles. Our kids really like Skittles, we don't get them very often, but yeah, the giant ones I thought we could try at the weekend. And then I picked up a few bits for stockings. I'm really sorry. <laughs> if you followed me for some time, which I know some of you have done, you will know that I do start collecting Christmas presents well, straight after Christmas. We're changing up a bit this year and we're actually just going to do a small stocking from Santa, smaller than normal. Um, literally just, you know, like a, quite a small one, to be honest, that we just hang for like a decorative stocking. Um, but I just feel like, I don't want any awkward conversations at school and things about why some children don't get this and why others do so I just thought we're going to keep it really simple this year at the end of this year and just have a small stocking each from Father Christmas Santa whatever you call him um and then we will do all of the other things from us because I feel like that's just the way I would prefer to do it and I kind of wish I'd just done that from the beginning really so for their well you, so I don't know I don't know if these bits are for their small stockings or from the stuff from us, I'm not sure yet, but I'm collecting small bits and I will sort it all out towards the end of the year. But yeah, they were two yo-yos and they're the light up trick yo-yos, which we used to really, really love. I will just check the receipts. So they were 69 pence each and they will have good fun with those if they light up as well and they can learn to do little tricks. My son's the right age for one of these. My daughter's a bit young, but you know, when you've got two kids, they just want the same it says a plus so we'll help her but i just thought they were really sweet and a really nice idea the next thing i got just to go away again for stockings or birthdays i'm not sure yet but probably stockings are these glow in the dark galaxy stars and they're just full of little stars and planets and moons and things to put on the ceiling so my son is seven and I think that's just the sort of thing he'll like really next year. And they were only 99 pence. They had loads of this, uh, what's it called? Old fashioned games, retro bazaar, and they had loads of things. I'm already realizing that doing a small stocking 
it's way, way harder because I'm trying to find things to fit in without just buying things for the sake of it. But he has mentioned those glow in the dark stars in the past. And then I got these as well, just to, this is a bit big for the stocking, so probably from us, but Tiddlywinks. And I just love these old fashioned games. Really, really simple game but good for hand and eye coordination. And that was only £1.29. I just think it's amazing for that. I would expect to pay about £5 for that. I don't know if that's unreasonable, but £1.29 for Tiddlywinks. That'll probably be for my son. And then on the other one I picked up was this magnetic spinner. And you just get this rolling. And that was £1.49. So again, really reasonable. And I just, although we've got a girl and a boy and they're different ages, I like to try and do like matching gifts at Christmas as best I can and I just think those two things are really good and won't take up much space at all. I like less than three pounds for two games and I'm really pleased with those. Um, next up, my son has a little valentine at school and he's loved her from day one and she loves him and it's all very cute. So, <laughs> so obviously they're only little but um, I just picked up a couple of bits that he can give her for Valentine's Day because every year he asks me if he can give her something for Valentine's and it's very cute. But this is a milk chocolate bomb filled with marshmallows and I thought she would enjoy that one. I also picked up two of these bath fizzes, like hugs and kisses ones. And I'm sorry, I'm one of these parents that like give our kids just something little to open on Valentine's. So just like some sweets and that little bath bomb and that's it. But I just I like doing things like that. Uh, some of these fruit smilers because my daughter loves them. Um, some boring things like food bags. What's next? I got these are really good. They're less than a pound, like these mailing bags. If you buy those in the post office, they're really expensive. Um, it's just good if you sell anything on like Gumtree or eBay or anything like that. I picked up these. I saw this double pack of basmati rices, and I thought they'd be good to take to the hospital. They don't look very big, but actually it is enough rice with the, like the main that you're obviously cooking. I just thought, like I said in the video the other day, I'm going to batch cook some homemade meals, take them in. And then I can just stick one of these in while I'm waiting for it to cool down. And then that's done. Nice and simple. Some oregano, because we needed that. And then I also got these playing cards for our caravan because we've only got one set of playing cards between the house and the van and we always have to like run in and out. And they were 99p and they're just gonna last really well in a metal tin, that's perfect. That's what we needed. And then I picked these up to put away for my daughter's birthday later on in the year and she loves these. She tried them at Christmas. I had um, a pack in each stocking. She really liked them and as I said many times, my kids love rainbows, especially my daughter. And I thought that's nice just to add with her birthday bits. Some winders, because they were only a pound as well, which is much cheaper than the supermarkets. And finally, in this first bag, I just got some sugar-free biscuits. Two of these ones and one of these ones, and they're for my dad. So just phoned him up and checked whether or not he wanted any. Just gonna stack it all up there. And then onto the other bag. Some cotton wool pads, some more gloves for my son. I mean, this boy loses gloves like you wouldn't believe, but they were only 50 pence and they match his school coat, so that is good. Some cheese nibbles for my daughter's lunch box. These are really good, these oven liners. So we used to like line our oven trays with baking paper or tin foil. But these are much, much easier. You just cut them to size depending on what tray you want it for. And they're really good. They last so, so well. But we are just starting to get a few holes and snags in the ones we've got. I picked up four of these little lollipops. These were 69 pence and I got four of them. One for each of the kids, one for my husband, and then one for my son to give to the love of his life, bless him. So there's four of those, and for 69p, I just think, you know, they're really reasonable. And then I also picked up three of these gummy lollies, and they were only 39p, and it just says, sorry, I don't see if you can see that, it just says, with love. So yeah, three of those for 39p. I just stocked up while I saw them, because... I often go to M&S and get their little Valentine chocolates and things, but while I saw them here, I just thought, why not? And finally, a little pack of pink hearts, which I'm sure my son will nab as well. 
And then some face wipes, because I get things like that when I see them. A birthday card. And I got this to try Frizz No More, a miracle serum. Serum? Serum? How do you say it? Serum, I think. Um, because my hair's just so dry and you just put a few sprays of this in when it's wet. Hopefully it will be less frizzy, who knows? And then just a couple more things in here. I just got some air fresheners for the car. They were only like a pound or something. Um, sugar dusted cherry, pink rhubarb and pear and crisp cotton and peony. And there's three of them in there. They're like Yankee Candle ones, but their own make Wickford & Co. Um, just for the car to keep it smelling nice. And finally, I will put these away either for my daughter's birthday and then I'll give my son one or I will put these away for Christmas otherwise. And they are the light up bath bombs because since we got them one for Christmas, all they keep on about is having a bath bomb every night and they're light up ones with a little toy inside. So there's three to collect. And yeah, I just thought I would pick those up as well. I think they were 150 which is fairly reasonable compared to some bath bombs. And that was everything. So the whole lot came to, I'm just looking at the receipt, 40 pounds and 11 pence. Oh, I forgot to say these, some baked walkers because I'm struggling to find those. So yeah, just over 40 pounds. I can pop some of this away for Christmas and Valentine's. I give these biscuits to my dad, but yeah, I'm happy with my little haul. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're doing okay. And hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye.